Paul Thomas Anderson is back with his brand new movie that just came out and I am super excited to talk about it. So let's just dive right into this one. What is going on my fellow film fans? It is Let's Be Real with Brad. Today in the channel I want to talk about the brand new coming of age comedy drama film called Licorice Pizza. Paul Thomas Anderson wrote and directed the film as it stars Alana Hyam, Cooper Hoffman, Sean Penn, Tom Waits, Bradley Cooper, and Benny Safdie. Licorice Pizza is the story of Alana Kane and Gary Valentine growing up, running around, and going through the treacherous navigation of First Love and San Fernando Valley in 1973. This film was my fourth most anticipated film of 2021 because I am a massive fan of Paul Thomas Anderson. He is one of my top five favorite directors working today because he has made some truly magnificent films. So being able to watch this film Christmas night and having the time to think about it for a few days, I can say that this is one of the year's best films as I genuinely hope it gets nominated for best picture at the Academy Awards. So let's just dive right into pauses this one as we can dive right into the soundtrack. I found the soundtrack to be fantastic as the film perfectly presents the 70s retro music in the background of the film as it adds a lovely layer to the film to make me more immersed into the story and the characters. The original score was composed by Johnny Greenwood who had been a significant contributor to other PTA films as he can create another outstanding original score even though it isn't used a whole lot throughout the film. Usually the best aspect of any PTA film is the screenplay as PTA always writes all the films he makes so this should be the best aspect of this film. I also think he is one of the best writers working in the film industry. He knows how to write characters particularly in this film adding so much depth. I also love the story as he knows how to dominate the hangout type film where we get to watch characters live everyday lives with events popping into them. I also felt this film is very unpredictable as it always felt fresh on what would happen next. The dialogue fantastic also the characters feel natural and realistic having such great conversation everyone in this film does a fantastic job especially when many of these actors are in their first feature length debut alana hyam and cooper hoffman were the film's main stars and they knocked it out of the park they had tremendous chemistry together as i felt like true professionals and had been in the industry for decades bradley cooper sean penn and one of the safety brothers benny were also excellent as well bradley cooper was perfect playing this over-the-top character and was absolutely hilarious paul thomas anderson's direction is just exquisite he stepped up his game working with many people who were very inexperienced in the technical department and acting and he just dominated he can always get the best performances from an actor and proves it in this one i also love how he shoots his films with very long takes and these extensive shots with so much detail happening within that single frame. Other technical aspects like the editing were outstanding, typically for a PTA film. The film has a beautiful pace that always moves along in the best way possible. The cinematography was also great as it isn't one of his best looking films but it still looks impressive. Anderson and Michael Braun with his first official credit as a cinematographer did an excellent job creating this energized beautiful looking coming of age story. As much as I have been praising this film it does feature a few negatives starting with the depiction of the Asian character. I think I have an understanding of why these characters were in the film to showcase the 70s culture with how races and sexes it really was. There are many clear examples of the sexism that has a purpose for the story and our characters but i found the depiction of the asian characters very unnecessary as if you took them out of the film i don't think it would change anything so why even have it if you're not going to add anything interesting funny or purpose to the film and the last negative i have with this film is the story as much as i have praised the unconventional hangout structure i did find the middle dragged quite a bit some of the story elements didn't blend with the rest of the film and maybe i won't be bothered by this on a second watch 
but I did find myself feeling a tad bit uninterested as I was moving around in my seat at certain points in the movie. Overall, Licorice Pizza is easily placed in my top five films of the year as I think it is one of the most entertaining, exciting, and unique films to be released this year. It features the year's best screenplay, terrific direction from Anderson, and unforgettable performances. This is one film you cannot miss because it is so graciously good. I am giving Licorice Pizza a strong 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review as I want to know down below in the comment section what is your ranking of Paul Thomas Anderson's films. I would love to hear about it. But before you check out of this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a like if you want to and ring that notification bell so I could see you all in the following video.